Good morning, boys and girls. Today is day six in our word sort number 70, where we're looking at the short and long vowel sound. And we are also finding our oddballs, you know, those words that don't follow the rules. So the first thing I need you to do is go ahead and pause the video here and sort your words. Now that you've sorted your words, I'm going to unveil mine and I need you to check that you sorted them into the correct categories. Pay special attention to our oddballs that have the short vowel sound but have a silent E at the end. Now that you've sorted them, we're going to get our handy dandy notebook and we're going to write them down. I'm going to lay my notebook on top of these words. You don't have to do that. I'm doing it so you can see my notebook. And we are doing our ABC sort. So the first thing I need to do is write down my, my date. And my date is 11-7-20. You know that down here in this corner, bottom right corner, you have your date. Go ahead and write the correct date down for you. And this is our ABC sort. Remember that the words in the title are capitalized and they are also underlined. And ABC is an abbreviation, so all of them are capitalized. And the word sort is capitalized. Then I need to write down my three categories. I'm going to make my first column and my second column. I'm going to write down my CVC, CVC, and we know this is the short vowels. Now over here I write CVC with the silent E, and those are my long vowels. And then we have our oddball. I'm going to underline that to make sure this is my header. And we're doing our ABC sort, so I need to write down my ABCs. And you know I love to sing my ABCs. Come and sing with me. A, B, C, D. All right, I wrote down all my ABCs, so now I'm ready to sort my words. I have one group right here. These are all my short CVC words. So I'm going to scoot them down. Oops, lost the word. Oh, two of them are trying to escape. And then I'm going to first sort my words before I write them down. So I'm going to use my ABCs. I have none of them start with the A. None of them start with the B. But I have two that start with the C. So I'm going to look at these two. If they start with the first letter being the same, I look at the second letter and look, both of them have an R in the second letter. So I can't use that second letter. I got to move to the third letter. This has an A and this has an O. I know the A comes first. So this is my two C words. Then I'm looking, yep, I have one with a D, my drip. Then I have none with an E. But I have flock and flat. Oh, look, FL, FL. So the third letter is an A or an O. A comes first. So this is how they go. Then I go G. I have gum. And then I go H. No. I, no. J, K, L. I have an L word. And I'm going to scoot these up a little bit so you can still see them. Oops, let me scoot them together so we can see the words. Lots, and then comes skin, and then wax. My W is last. So now that I have them in ABC order, it is really easy for me to just simply write them down. So I'm going to start with crab. And remember, we're skipping a word so that our low-lying letters and our tall letters don't interfere with each other. Crop, drip, flat, flock, 
gum, lots, skin, and wax. Now that I've done my first column, I need you to go ahead and sort your second group of words, your long vowel words, and then sort your oddball and write them down in your handy dandy notebook. Take a picture of it and post it on Class Dojo so I can see how awesome you did on your sword. See you next time, my little friends.